Welcome to the Bloomberg Law Bankruptcy Review. I'm Lee Pacquia. Joining me now to discuss the latest in bankruptcy law news, we have the liquidation sensation Bill Rochelle of Bloomberg News. Bill, welcome. Well, thank you for the intro. Sure. So three um, items on our radar this week. We're going to start off by taking a look at the Thornburg case. It's been quiet up until now, but all of a sudden, uh, the trustee in the case has hauled off and sued uh, basically every bank under the sun. What do you make of this? Do they have a chance of uh, any success in these suits? Well, i got to tell you, this is sort of like... The old adage, don't bite a tiger in the butt mm -hmm. unless or you five can, or six. <laughs> unless you can think you can take him down in a fair fight. Here we have a Chapter 11 trustee for Thornburg Mortgage, which is a big outfit. It was the biggest mm -hmm. jumbo securitizer in the country. Sued the likes of Citigroup, UBS, uh, Credit Suisse, you name them, got sued two billion dollars worth. Right. That's a lot of money because he claims that they gave unjustified demands for more margin. And believe me, people at Wall Street don't think that's very funny because they think they have a God-given right to demand however much margin whenever they want it. And if you don't like our demands for margin, well, then simply take your business and go somewhere else to somebody who will require less margin. That's the theory. So the Thornburg trustee is going to test that in court. There Chances are, of success, you think? Well, there's a big problem that the Thorn Thornburg trustee has. That is the so-called safe harbor for provision in bankruptcy law, which says, in, in essence, that many securities transactions, you can't try to set aside, uh, uh, call them a, a margin calls. So this is going to be very interesting. I assume the trustee's got a good theory in his pocket. I can't wait to see how it unfolds. Yeah, it's a quiet case that got uh, heated fast. Let's talk about Lehman. We have a lot of plans floating around out there. We've been following it pretty closely on our daily podcast. Who's winning today and who's losing? Boy, that's a tough question. You know, we have plans now that cover the spectrum. Mm -hmm. We have the Paulson plan, which says that all of the companies should be substantively consolidated. We have on the other end of the spectrum, we have the most uh, recently filed plan by a group in including uh, Goldman Sachs. They say no consolidation whatsoever. And then you got Lehman somewhere in the middle with a throwing a bone of settlement toward the consolidation side. Um, just this, within the last week, we had a trustee for a Lehman subsidiary in uh, Holland saying, ah, no way, I don't go along with any kind of right. uh, consolidation. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not so sure this is all so hard. Everybody seems to think you've got to have a 16-month trial on the issue. I don't think so. I think you can deal with it on summary judgment. I think you can take uh, Paulson's disclosure statement with all of their description of how Lehman ran the business and then assume these are the facts are true. Have the bankruptcy judge decide whether or not, under uh, the law in the Second Circuit, under a case called Augie Restivo, does this give you an entitlement to substantive consolidation? You can make a very good argument that everything that Paulson alleges, the answer to it is, so what? Right. No substantive consolidation. Uh, I hope the bankruptcy judge goes that way and doesn't let this thing string out another three years. All right. We'll certainly have to see how it goes. Finally, let's touch upon the stats section. Bill, in our recordings that we've gone through this week, there's been a lot of filings. Um, I don't necessarily think that we might have a trend happening, but what, what do you make of the volume we've seen well, you're in, the, right. in the last couple of weeks? You're right. There are a lot of bite-sized filings, mm -hmm. but no biggies. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some uh, uh, statistics that will make you fall out of your chair. Uh, you know, just like there was a boom in the housing market, there also was a boom in the bankruptcy business. Uh, in the last, or in the first quarter of this year, 2011, we've had about 20 public companies file with about $4 billion in assets. Now, that, you know, that sounds like a lot, $4 billion, but go back two years. Then we had something like 70 filings. That's more than three times as many as we had now. But get this, this is the biggie. Two years ago in the first quarter, it was uh, $100 billion of mm. filings. In other words, the filings of first quarter this year are less than 5% of what they were two years ago. So as a result, there are lots of folks in the uh, uh, turnaround industry right now trying to look for a way to make a living. Right. Bankruptcy is still cyclical. Bill, let's leave it there for now. Thank you so much.
That's Bill Rochelle. He's a columnist at Bloomberg News. If you'd like to learn more about the cases or issues we just discussed, go check out Bill's column and also our daily podcast. Both are on BloombergLaw.com and the Bloomberg Terminal. I'm Lee Pacquiao. Thanks for watching.